just, um, would you recommend that I keep everything that's on my shelves in these boxes, you know, or is this just for storage? Because obviously you can see everything, can't you? So I'm actually, I know where they are when I can see them. Um, it's not necessary. Something that's t-shirty or made of cotton is never going to have a, uh, I say never, should, shouldn't have a moth problem. Uh, although moths do like the um, protein element of natural fabrics and they eat something called keratin and that's what they're looking for is a dark and undisturbed place to um, eat, mate and lay eggs. Um, and But more or less if there's some wool around they will go for wool. They probably rather your carpet than they would a, a cotton t-shirt. So these are fine open on your shelves and obviously it's a lot easier to see and to, to get but this is more for out of season storage and for precious things. Okay. Okay, great. Thanks. One of our products is a linen spray and this also has the eight ingredients, the eight magic ingredients and it's mixed in a, a natural spring water and natural alcohol. Uh, and this is great. You can actually wet uh, an Hermes uh, silk scarf and it doesn't leave a ring. Uh, and this, um, although I don't suggest you spray your clothes all over, mm. um, it is, it is uh, a fragrance again which will repel moths, but, uh, because it will fight with your perfume, but it's not going to do any harm. But I suggest a spritz about once a week, mm. uh, A, to keep your wardrobe smelling nice and fresh, and B, to discourage moths. And we've got two, two flavours. Mm -hmm. One has got the patchouli and lemongrass and lavender, cedarwood uh, and laurel. This one is more woody and it's um, got vetiver in it. Mm. So it's, uh, vetiver has also been historically used to uh, repel insects, but that's slightly more manly um, or a sort of a more smoky uh, fragrance. So let's, let's try. I quite like the Betty Ver. Okay. One. Well, yeah, Great. Let's try really the Betty Ver. Nice. Yeah. Give it a quick shake. And then you can spray the carpet. Mmm. Brilliant. And just spritz around the wardrobe. So, Julia, is this good on curtains and things as well? Absolutely. Mm. Do the curtains, backs of the curtains, under the chest of drawers, under the bed, uh, anywhere actually where it might be a little bit undisturbed. It smells lovely. Mmm. Now I can smell it. It's lovely. It's giving my room a good freshener. <laughs> Thank you. Now this is a nice easy way to uh, refresh your wardrobe and keep it refreshed all the time and that's a hanging sachet. Mm -hmm. uh, again, it's the ingredients, the eight ingredients put into um, uh, oils, put into a stone powder and put into an envelope. And quite often these have got plastic hanging hooks and I was very... Uh, uh, sure when, when I spoke to the manufacturer that I did not want a plastic hanging hook so this is fully biodegradable it's now got a cardboard hanging hook mm. and uh, have, have a smell of this mm. and this is the um, the Mei Chang yes. blend yeah great so you do his and hers of these do you as that's well? right yes mm. lovely because we have um, two wardrobes one that side and one that side and it's quite nice how we you know both dress them the way we want to dress our wardrobes. So these just go in and they go on a hook mm -hmm. or they can go between your dresses and I would suggest about one every 50 centimetres. Okay, well that's quite quite a good width, you don't need that many in no. a wardrobe then. No, for, mm. for an average wardrobe about a metre, metre twenty you'd need three. And how long do they last? They last about six months Okay. and they're five pounds each. So do you suggest dating them on the back? We've then? got a little um, box okay. here and Great. you uh, write, write the date when you when you take it out of the cellophane packet and that's when it starts to uh, uh, to release its fragrance and uh, and then six months after the date throw it away. 